C100. It seems like she's here every other month, and I welcome it. Cher Lloyd's back in the studio at Z100. Hello. Welcome back. Thank you for having me again. You walked in the door. I had my hat off, and the first thing you said to me was, where's your hat? And I'm like, wow, I was going to try the interview without the hat. Yeah. And you're like, no. No. I like the hat. <laughs> I like your hat. Where'd you buy that? Um, I don't know where it's from, <laughs> um, but I've decided to try out hats. Good. Yeah, I'm trying a lot of new things recently. Like what? What else have you tried besides the hat shopping? Um, I've tried out dyeing my hair bright blue. And if you could focus in on that, I like, your hair's amazing. It's good. Thank you. It's good. It's almost like you could go and call Katy Perry and she could give you tips on how to you know pull it off. And it looks like you've done it. It looks like you did need her consulting. That looks good. You just wake up one morning. It's like, you know what? I might want to change my hair. I might want to dye it. Yeah. Well, I was going to do it purple, but then I found out that a lot of people have had or do have purple hair. Do you consult with uh, the other person in your relationship before you do that? Do you get the okay or you just do whatever you want? Um, I was like, uh, well, I'm going to dye my hair. And he's like, cool. What color? And I'm like, blue. And he's like, uh, are you sure? <laughs> and I was like, well, yeah, you know, it'd be fun. And he was like, don't go too bright. And then when I first had it dyed, it was like bright, like so bright. Um, and he kind of panicked for a little while. And then now he really likes it. You seem like the kind of person that you love him, but at the same time, his opinion only goes so far. So if you want to do something, I'm guessing you'll do it regardless. With anyone in the world, um, their opinion only goes so far. Cher <laughs> <Nice. laughs> Lloyd, is, breaking news, Cher Lloyd is her own person. Yes. And you've been touring, you've been in the U.S. far too long. It's been how many weeks now here in America? Um, I've been here since January, <sighs> but um, I only had two weeks off over the Christmas break. So, while everyone was at home, I was still working. So, since I last saw you at Z100 Single Ball, you've only had two weeks off the two entire time. Off, that's Crazy. It. That's insane. Yeah. Do, do you stress out over things? Do you wake up and have panic attacks in the middle of the night? Yeah. Okay. I kind of wake up and I say, why do I do this? Why do I do this to myself? Why do I work so much? Why can't I go home? I miss my dogs. I miss my family. You have pets still. Who's taking care yeah. of your dogs? Um, my fiance's sister. That's nice. Yeah. And is she very capable? Did you pre-interview her before you um, left? Well, the problem is, her dog had puppies. Oh, man. So... Did your dog impregnate her dog? No. No, no okay, no, good. No, okay, no. okay. No, my dogs are only like puppies. Okay, so okay. So I'm they... not sure they know how to do that <gasps> They're yet. not there yet. They're not there yet. But she has like seven dogs. <laughs> wow. Oh, my God. So... Yeah. <laughs> I would be worried that my dog wouldn't get enough attention. Yeah, I... Oh. I... My dogs get so spoiled... Because they're like the cutest things ever. Um, and I don't worry about that. Do you want to FaceTime with your sister, your future sister-in-law to see how your dog is doing? Oh, and like, do you do do, Okay, I didn't know if that made yeah, you more sad do to do that. Yeah, Aww. we do that. Aww. Well, in your time here, let's see. You've done a few couple thing, a few cool things. You went to uh, some Grammy parties. Yes, I did. And uh, I saw some video of you at the Grammy parties. You're 19. Do you like have a beverage? Did someone get you a beverage? Did you sneak any beverages? That uh, <laughs> I knew you would. Um, well, in my own country, I, I'm allowed to drink. But I do respect the law out here. Sure. It's fine. It's just sometimes I'm like... I'm I'm done with putting up with this law. Mm -hmm. Like, really? So I, I, some... Like, I've worked so hard. Get me a vodka rebel, please. Nice vodka rebel. <laughs> um, and one of the videos I saw, you were doing some red carpet, okay, yes. at the Grammys. Props to you, n number one, for being an amazing performer and a talented singer, but putting up with the photogs, yelling things at you while you're standing. Uh. If you've never seen this, go and search YouTube, and you'll see this one particular video of Cher Lloyd, where some guy is screaming, Cher, over the shoulder, over the shoulder. What the hell does over the shoulder mean? Um, what are they talking about? Do you know what? I've never really understood that, because all you get is like... <laughs> My, everyone wants that pic. Like, my head's right over and, and uh, my neck's creased and stuff, and everyone just loves to see Cher Lloyd looking odd. <laughs> so that's maybe that's why he's screaming it every two seconds because you don't know how to do it. What I love is that you give these people like a good amount of time to get pictures, right? And there's only so much you can take a picture of. Mm -hmm. It's like you've just took like a thousand pictures because your flash is going crazy, but you're still shouting at me. What else do you want me to do? Obviously, they want me to do something silly, but I'm not going to do that. Yeah. Flash the bottom or something. <laughs> Show me your ass. Show you're like, me oh. No, I'd rather not. Yeah. And then I think your fiance jumped in the shot and then they took they maybe gave you ten good seconds with him and then they're like, Share solo picture, solo picture. Yeah, so um, you gotta shove him out of the way. 
It's like, oh, yeah, I, it's a pain in the butt. I did that one time. I did red carpet with a celebrity. I stood next to her, and the the flashes. I don't know how you don't have a seizure the whole oh, time. Seriously, my eyes like you see rings after, and you you have to like sort of find your feet again. It's insane. I did, props to you for doing that. Your new single had that on repeat all last weekend with your love. Ooh. You seem excited about that song. You seem I'm like very excited um, because the first single did quite well. Mm -hmm. And I was like, wow, mm -hmm. second single, nah, whatever, let's pretend that it kind of didn't happen. <laughs> and now the third single, it's like, okay, I need to work. Mm -hmm. I really need to work this one to make it happen. Mm -hmm. And that's why I'm excited about it. It's a great song. It's tough. You know, it's always, you could have the best song in the world, but uh -huh. like, if you have a really good song, it, it's like high school. It seems like the music business is a lot like high school where mm -hmm. you're a popular kid, but there are all these other popular kids. And then there's like the other kid whose parents have so much money that he drives yes. like the best car, wears the best clothes. So you are in a ring with nothing but like right now there's so much music out, so right? Much. Yeah. Don't you wish you could just take some of these other artists and just kind of like put them aside on an island without Wi-Fi? I think <laughs> <laughs> so that they can't put anything wi -Fi, out. I love that. <laughs> um, I think if there wasn't the amount of people around right now, then it kind of be like too too boring and like kind of like I'm cheating a little bit. You're so kind. Do you know what I mean? You're so I, kind. I love a good battle. Mm -hmm. I, I love to sort of work to get to where I need to be. I, I, I'm not the type of person that likes it handed to me because I get no pleasure out of that. But part of you, I'm sure when you were discussing, <clears throat> excuse me, what else was coming out at the time when other artists had projects, you had to have been like, oh, Justin Timberlake, seven damn years and homie comes back when I yes. put out the single again. Um, yeah, well, stuff like that is just wonderful. Um, <laughs> uh, it's always so annoying because you sort of think, okay, so me and my label planned the time to put this song out and, you know, all seemed really good and nothing major was coming out and then bang, day of release, someone just released something mm. and they're huge and they're bound to get like crazy plays. Well, I like your song and you no need to like, you know, punch a wall and yell, suit and tie, put on a damn t-shirt and make another movie, dude. <laughs> no need to do that. No, I think it's going to do well and you're an amazing person and you find so much energy when you're up on stage performing. Yeah, I go crazy. Yeah, and I've seen you backstage before and you look like you, you know, again, haven't had a vacation in three months, a little yeah. beat down, a little tired and all of a sudden you like get up on stage and it's just like, did, did I miss like, a, you know, a pile of crack being swallowed? Did I miss something between <laughs> backstage and the stage? Where do you muster that energy? Um, I think before I go on stage, I'm like so nervous and I can see everyone like backstage and they're looking at me because they know I'm about to go on. It's like, oh, and then when I get on the stage, it's like I'm a completely different person and all this energy comes from nowhere. What makes you nervous, though, about hitting the stage? Mm, I think it's sometimes it's the headspace that I'm in. It's like if I've had a bit of a bad day, I'll think that the whole world's against me and that everyone's going to hate my performance for some stupid reason. It's like all psychological. Mm -hmm. um, but if I'm having a good day, I can go out and do really, really well. It's just like the state of mind that you're in. A lot of people think that. That happens in a lot of corporate situations. With you, though, it happens in a performing situation. You take mm -hmm. that same feeling. And yeah. I know we all need therapy. Everyone in the world needs therapy. Definitely. Everyone. Yes. Uh, you being from the UK, do you, uh, are you ever concerned, I don't want to add to your stress, that like the royal family may approach you and like, hey, we're having a lot of UK-based artists sing uh, lullabies right. for Kate Middleton's uh, expected child soon. <laughs> would you ever, if they asked you, would you want to record, or is that too much pressure to record something like that? Um... I'd 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 be quite frightened to do that because um, I'm 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 what people call edgy. Of course, but you could do it. Well, if you ever are approached, I have some song titles for you in case okay. you. Maybe we can just do this. You and I will work together on this project in case uh, Kate Middleton's looking for music for her upcoming child. Yeah. A uh, couple tracks here: Queen Mother Goose. Nice. You could record that. Um, Rockabye, you'll never work a day in your life. <laughs> I like that too. Uh, third track on the on the CD: Go to Sleep, Your Royalty. <laughs> do we like that? <gasps> Tell me what you think about this. This is you mentioned edgy, okay? Yeah. Don't dress like a Nazi like your uncle did at that one Halloween party. Be better. <laughs> she covers She's. La I know you're laughing. I know you're. I know you're laughing. I know you're laughing. Well. Wow. Um. Let me know when you want to collaborate. Or maybe I could do a rap. 
Yeah. Oh, yeah. Let's hear. Put all of that stuff into one rack. You could do it. Let's ride it right now. Skip all your other engagements. Let's do that right now. Cheryl, yeah. thank you so much. It's always a pleasure having you here. Thanks for having me. When I can make you smile, it makes my day. Yeah.